Come here, baby, in the sun. Hey guys, what better place to do a little video on some golden tips, some golden bite ball tips on how to use the wallet. Um, it's actually very well done, but you have to think about how you to use it. And um, basically, in summary, you should. I, the problem with black bites is I, with bite ball is you have bites and black bites, and the black bites is a special case. Usually, with crypto, you just only have to uh, back up one time your wallet, and then when you lose your wallet, um, you will be able to restore your money, your funds, your crypto with simply the, the backup. But there is a problem, of course, with the backup is that many people don't do it. Eh? So there's already a problem there. But with bite ball, it's a little bit worse. Like, um, um, uh, it's not sufficient uh, to have just the backup. Uh, if you also have black bites and do transaction black bites, uh, there, um, the problem is that you do have to do every time a backup but just not just one time in the beginning but every time when you um, receive black bytes because black bytes is the private currency of byteball and and so basically what happens there is that you send and receive little data files to each other so there is no public ledger about that that's why it has privacy uh, but it does mean you send some small data files to someone else and if that if the moment you receive those data files and you don't back them up you lose your phone you lost your black bytes too eh? so and that's very unpractical to always do a backup that's actually not workable even but what's the solution to this well it's a multi-device wallet eh? so and and this has many other advantages too um, so and it actually allows you to not even make a backup anymore um, uh, if you set it up properly so a multi-device wallet is just uh, you install a byte ball on your phone for example but you also install it on your desktop or your laptop and why not involve someone else too uh, I think three devices is good um, and so maybe your brother or your sister someone you trust eh? uh, and at the same time you can give them some some bytes too uh, but the advantage is if you set up a multi-device wallet meaning you install it on your phone on your desktop and on a phone from a friend or someone you trust well and then you see once on every device you have the byte wall up and then what you do is you select create multi-device wallet and then you select one out of three and then you're gonna he's gonna ask okay which devices and then you will have to pair up all the devices so that they know of each other's existence you have to do that actually first before you uh, create a multi-device wallet it's a little bit of work um, but so you pair them up eh? you, simply by paired in the menu uh, of byte ball the hamburger menu top left you click there you see pair devices you click that and then you do add device and then you're gonna uh, uh, for example from your phone you do that and then you add device and then uh, you have to choose between invite or accept an invitation so you do invite and then uh, or accept and then with your desktop you accept it and then it's paired up and the same you do with the phone of your loved one uh, and then uh, your phone is uh, paired up with these other two devices it's a little bit of work but once that's done you have a, 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 a then you can create a multi-device wallet one out of three and then uh, 
you have your wallet all the funds you will send to there um, the nice thing is you lose your phone well it's also available on your desktop and even if both of them or or, or or you lose both of them or let's say you fuck up with your desktop the wallet you delete it by some idiocy and at the same time you've lost your phone while well, you still have your friend also or your loved one who also has uh, a wallet a bite ball wallet and so even if you did not make any backup um, you will still have your bytes and your black bytes because it's a multi-device wallet meaning every device has a copy will sync always and has a copy of your bytes and your black bytes on the phone eh? or on the device and so that way you don't have to make backups yourself every time you receive or send black bytes because well it's also on the other devices available so even if you lose your phone for example you still have another copy of those small data files of all these black bytes on the other devices too um, so this is the simple setup one out of three uh, and this is for small amounts and uh, you can get can can go one step further and let's say you have large amounts then you do not one out of three but you do for example two out of five or two three out of six something like that eh? uh, and then you're also secure against hackers because the problem with one out of three is that well a hacker if he hacks only one device he has access to all these all your coins eh? uh, and that's really the nice thing also about a multi-device setup is you can set it up so that you need to validate the transaction by more than one device so for example you choose two out of five that means that two devices will have to validate the transaction so you send it with one and then you have to select another device that has to validate it and that other device for example your desktop has to validate it and so that means that if somebody has access to your phone um, uh, or a hacker uh, gets into your phone he, uh, then, then, then he can't send any bytes or black bytes because it also needs to be validated by your desktop and the hacker did not succeed in getting into that uh, so, so, but this is only for largest amounts because even with a one out of three multi-device wallet, you of course set up a password also. So let's say you have a one out of three device, you lose your phone or somebody steals your phone, they open your ByteBall wallet, well, they can't get in because there is a password set, meaning all your bytes and black bytes are locked up behind an encrypted file. Uh, once you set up a password, they can't send any... any uh, any bytes or black bytes so this is of course something you also do but it's nice with bite you don't have to do that at the start and you don't have to set up a password but the moment eh, you set up that one out of three device a multi-device wallet you also set up a password once it's uh, some some uh, amount that you value so that um, uh, not uh, nobody can send it and of course you make sure this is also the case on a desktop and if your loved one also has a copy also there you make sure that uh, there is a password set and you can also make these passwords different huh? but by difference yeah you you can use tricks so that um, well you use the same password to start but then at the end you add some difference to all of the passwords eh? or at the beginning um, uh, so that you can remember it so um, that's that's one thing and there was something else well what I also really like is and bytes is really a, a coin that ha, is distributing out of coins for free to people huh? and, 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 and that's a nice way to get other people involved but at the same time it's also a good way to to get started like if you want to give some coins to someone else like someone you love well why not set up a multi-device wallet from the start for this person because see this person is too complicated they are not going to send up a, a set up a multi-device wallet but what you can do is you can say okay here you want some free bytes or free black bytes okay set up set up uh, of course only with people that you uh, stay in contact with but uh, let's set up okay let's install the byte ball up on your phone and then uh, you don't send it immediately first you also pair up the devices and you set up a one out of two for example multi-device wallet with her or his phone and then also your phone 
and so then you only then in the, you sent uh, some coins to him or her and then if they lose their phone well you also have a copy of their uh, wallet uh, so if they lose their phone they didn't make a backup or uh, they didn't make a backup after receiving black bites while well, you also have a copy and so it's all good huh? uh, and so you do a one out of two meaning you can continue to basically steal the funds from them huh? you could take them back but since you just gave them some funds well they trust you huh? uh, and so 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 they trust you not to steal the money and it's a great a great backup for them without ha them having to do any any kind of work later on without them ever having to care to even take a single backup. I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video in from this amazingly beautiful place with such beautiful sand. It's in Zanzibar. And look at the sand, look at the sand. You see it's almost clay. <laughs> It's almost clay. You can't even make like... Yeah. It's really cool. Bye guys.